All right, traders, what's going on? This is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today, we have a very special video from Aloha Trader, real name Austin. He's one of our top moderators in MIC chat. And today, he does a trade recap on ticker symbol NSPR, his short trade process behind all of it. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our full length exclusive content, then come over to MIC and become a member. All right, let's get into it. Hey everybody, Austin here. Uh, gonna do another trade recap, this time on NSPR. But before I do, I wanna say that I'm not licensed or registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be, take, shall be, take, should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Anyway, yeah, so I traded NSPR today, only stock I traded today because I didn't see anything else worth it. Uh, I wasn't gonna trade ABIO, even though I did locate shares in the morning. Um, before, before I look, when I located the shares, I didn't know that it was going to go absolutely nuts like it did. Actually, let's take a look at that because ABIO is the precursor to this move. Yeah, so ABIO yesterday, bi biopharmaceutical company got like, you know, a million shares in the float, uh, became kind of like a black swan event. You know, the, the rare, you know, one out of a hundred that does this, um, it goes from like five to 20, uh, especially like in two days. So this this stock is a biopharmaceutical had like phase two news uh phase two of their their study was um was in like some journal of cardiology uh you know whatever it is the reason why it ran is not because of that but because of the the one million share float so this was the day one had a huge squeeze um midday we we kind of faded off today we we, we kind of gapped up on everybody holding short squeezed enormously all pre-market this became the black swan event and this kind of ignites the the small cap runners right that's kind of how small cap runners were we're coming off of earning season where small caps are kind of dead and we're kind of coming off of that and so like we get this runner and it's um we we think everyone you know we we hope that it ignites what's called sympathy runners which is going to be moves that follow this one in an attempt to um, create more trading vehicles for everybody. Um, immediately, um, I have a short bias, kind of, we're close to the market open, so I'm kind of hoping to short a spike and cover into a drop at the open. So we get a little push here, and I start, uh, you know, we break over the pre-market highs, and I, and I uh, get a little bit ballsy. I put some shorts out here um, with, the with the confidence that this is going, that these are all just chasers, hoping this is going to be the next ABIO, and they, you know that they're gonna you know they they should get punished for chasing and so I short and I get a nice cover off I get a nice cover off for half here and I haven't I have like my, the other half of my order is sitting here at under six just to get a nice before the open maybe a, a big crash on illiquid illiquidity um, but it holds which I'm honestly a little bit surprised at it holds and so we're going into the market and I'm getting a little bit queasy. I'm not sure if I want to hold this into the market. I'm kind of hoping it's just going to tank. Um, and, and we're going to, you know, I'm kind of hoping it's just going to tank right before the market opens so I can get my cover under six and be done with it. And then I can look for the long. But I don't get that. So uh, here at the open, um, we spike up and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to freak out here. Um, we're right here at the top of the range here at pre-market highs. You know, let me just recycle my sh my shares that I that I got down there. You know, so and my idea is still that six dollar area for the cover. So I, I short here right over there, kind of. You know, I could have gotten a little higher. Obviously, that's not what I was going for. I was going for the short wrist off the pre market high. I gave it the wiggle room there to seven, and um, I get my cover kind of kind of immediately. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.